Welcome back to 10 slide info. Few days back, there was a news related to Indian Navy's interest to acquire 10 ship-borne drones and the intention to acquire such drones is to boost the surveillance capabilities against enemy warships. The deal is said to be for around 1,240 crores approximately. These type of drones are very vital for Indian Navy so that they can be deployed on relevant warships and Indian Navy can make use of them to detect or monitor the activities of Chinese ships in and around Indian territorial waters. At this moment, it's not clear if these drones would be an imported one or if it would be made in India via partnership with a foreign manufacturer. Not just that, Indian Navy is also working separately on a project to acquire Sea Guardian drones from the United States. We will not be discussing that particular deal in this particular video. As we all know, the Indian Navy is planning to acquire 10 ship-borne drones. It would be good to discuss one of them which was proposed by Northrop Grumman of United States. Yes, I'm not sure if someone is aware of this. Northrop Grumman proposed the MQ-4C Triton to India and Indian Navy have considered this unmanned aircraft system in a complementary role to the Boeing B-8 I Poseidon maritime patrol aircraft. This is not in a confirmed stage, but looks like, according to the different sources, Indian Navy has shown interest in this particular unmanned aerial vehicle from Northrop Grumman. Let's quickly see what this Northrop Grumman MQ-4C Triton is all about. It is a high-altitude, long-endurance unmanned aerial vehicle or unmanned aircraft system which is still under development. The MQ-4C can remain airborne for more than 30 hours at an altitude of 56,000 feet. These drones have speeds of up to 330 knots, which is around 610 km per hour. Based on the requirements, and in order to make sure such a vast ocean is monitored, do you think the Northrop Grumman MQ-4C Triton would be a good choice for Indian Navy? Let us see its general characteristics quickly. The MQ-4C Triton drones have a length of 14.5 meters and a height of 4.6 meters and a wingspan of 39.9 meters. As mentioned already, these drones' top speed stands at 575 to 610 km per hour. With a service ceiling of 56,000 feet, it has a range of 8,200 nautical miles. These drones are powered with one Rolls-Royce A. 3007 turbofan engines with 28.89 to 39.66 kN thrust. Let us see few key features about this particular unmanned aerial vehicle. The main aluminum fuselage is of semi monocube construction, while the V tail, the engine nasal, and the rear fuselage are made of composite materials. With a multifunction active sensor AESA radar, it is capable of surveying a vast area of sea as well as shoreline in a 24-hour period in a single sweep. Using the radar in inverse synthetic aperture mode, the multifunction active sensor can identify a target in all weather conditions. The Triton is semi-autonomous to conserve manpower, so operators only need to choose an operating area for the aircraft and set the speed, altitude and objective rather than operating controls. One of the attractive features is its ability to descend to lower altitudes rapidly. And these drones are built with a more robust lower fuselage to withstand hail, bird and lightning strikes. It is also equipped with anti-icing system on its wings. At low altitude, the Triton would use its Raytheon MTSB multispectral sensor, which is equipped with additional laser designator, pointer, and range finding abilities. And these are capable of automatically tracking what the multifunction active sensors detects. These drones have 51,000 hour airframe life, and it also supports other units of naval aviation to conduct maritime interdiction anti-surface warfare and battle space management. So that was a quick update on Indian Navy's need for 10 ship-borne drones and we discussed the proposal which was given by the Northrop Grumman 
for their MQ-4C Triton drones. Since these unmanned aerial vehicles have interested Indian Navy, we ran through its general characteristics and unique features as well. So please leave your comments on whether these drones should be procured by Indian Navy for their shipborne surveillance activities. Thanks for watching. I'll upload another video with a new defense update or an aviation update later. Please do subscribe my channel and hit the bell button next to it and also feel free to leave a comment in the comment section. Thank you.